Welcome to online training for everyone. I'm about to show you top five Excel interview and assessment test questions related to Excel keyboard shortcuts. I'll also share with you some tips, tricks, and hacks on how to best prepare and pass the test today. These questions are in no particular order of importance, so make sure to watch the entire video to test your Excel knowledge and get ready for the test. Knowing answers to these questions helped a lot of people to get ready, and I'm pretty sure it will help you as well. Take a moment to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen and make sure to like, share, comment, and ask me any questions. I'm happy to answer every question I receive. Now let's go ahead and get started. Keyboard shortcut questions very frequently presented as part of Excel assessment test. Let's look at one of those questions. Which keyboard shortcut would you use to wrap the text and start a new line when inside the cell? And then there are four choices presented with the different keyboard shortcuts. Alt plus Enter, Control plus Enter, Alt plus N, and Alt plus W. Which one would you choose? When you are inside the cell and you need to continue the text on the new line, you use Alt Enter shortcut. When I press Alt Enter, you see that the first name that follows the last name started with the new line. So the correct answer to this question is choice A, Alt plus Enter. Very similar functionality can be accomplished using the wrap text feature of Microsoft Excel. What are the smartest ways to get prepared for Excel test? One of the things you can do is download the latest version of Excel and explore. I would consider Office 365 subscription. You get free trial and you can use it for up to 30 days and this is enough time for you to get prepared. You can also use outlines from test providers on their website. For example, Indeed.com has a lot of sample questions that they provide and the answers as well. You can also try LinkedIn Excel assessment test. One of the best ways to get ready is download and read Excel books and eBooks. And last but not least is consider subscribing to this channel. I post new videos periodically and you get answers to the latest questions that are being asked in the tests today. Now let's continue and help you to get ready for Excel interview and assessment test. Here is the tricky question to test your knowledge of Excel keyboard shortcuts, which is very frequently used as part of Excel assessment test. Which keyboard shortcut would you use to enter a current date in a cell? And you have four choices, Alt plus D, Control plus semicolon, Control plus seven, and Control plus D. Which one would you choose? Which one do you think is the right answer? To insert current date into Excel sheet, you need to put your cursor on the cell and then press Control and semicolon. This combination inserts current date into the cell. Keep in mind that the value that we've inserted remains static, and if I open the same worksheet tomorrow, the date is going to be yesterday's date, because Microsoft Excel shows the date at the time when it was inserted. So the correct answer to this question is choice B, Control plus semicolon. Hopefully you've got it right. I'd like to share with you some tips, tricks, and hacks how to get ready for Excel assessment test. One of the best ways to get prepared is to use mock and practice assessment tests. This helps you get better knowledge of the tool and better understanding how to pass the test. I also recommend that you read questions carefully, ideally more than once if you have enough time. Also, you should consider answer easy questions first if you have a choice of going back and forth. This allows you to get your answers in for the easy questions and then process more complicated questions with more time and knowledge and better understanding to give you more chances to get them right. I also recommend validating the answers to the questions with more than one method. For example, if you have formulas to validate the question, and then you can use pivot tables to validate the answers. And last but not least is watch training videos from this channel, from other channels, from as many sources as you can to get prepared. Now let's continue and help you to get ready for Excel interview and assessment test. A lot of times during Excel assessment test, you will be tested on your knowledge of Excel keyboard shortcuts. In this particular question, you're being asked what is the keyboard shortcut of the auto sum in Excel, and you present it with the four different choices. So there are four different shortcuts. The first one is Alt equal, Alt S, Alt D, and then Alt A. What do you think is the right answer? One thing to keep in mind here is that there are only two keyboard keys that you need to press. For example, plus sign is not plus sign that you press on the keyboard. Plus sign just indicates that there are two keys, Alt and the, another key, for example, equal sign. Alt and another key, for example, capital S. 
So with that in mind, what do you think is the right answer? There are multiple ways to trigger auto sum function in Excel. For example, if you have a set of values, and typically it's a numerical values, like in the column B in this case, you can trigger auto sum function by just clicking on the auto sum, and you see that automatically on the home tab, auto sum in editing section, it shows you the shortcut. So for example, if you know where the sum function is, you can quickly find what the shortcut is. And in this case, the answer is Alt plus equal sign. And once you trigger this shortcut, it highlights the area, and once you click Enter, it inserts the sum of the values. To learn more about shortcuts used in Excel assessment test, I recommend my PDF ebook that you can download from my website. In this book, I have the whole section dedicated to keyboard shortcuts. You can see that the section here covers Excel shortcuts, frequently used shortcuts, formatting, function key shortcuts, navigational shortcuts, column and row shortcuts, and then control shortcuts. All of these shortcuts have been selected based on the questions we see on the tests. And in addition to shortcuts, you will also find top 50 Excel interview questions and Excel assessment test questions used during Excel assessment test to get you ready and get you hired uh, for your new employment. As you probably figured out by now, the correct answer to the question is A, Alt plus equal sign. And once you press the shortcut after selecting all the values, you will get auto sum function triggered, and then you just need to hit enter to execute it. Why you might consider subscribing to this channel? This is one of the fastest way to learn and get prepared for Excel assessment test. Skills you learn are helpful today and in the future. You get answers to your questions. You have opportunity to help other people. And you have experienced professionals who already subscribed to this channel and ready to help you with any answers that you need. Now let's continue and help you to get ready for Excel interview and assessment test. Here is the variation of this question, which provides you with the different choices. To create new sheet in Excel, you use Control T keyboard shortcut. Click File New Sheet. Click New Icon on the Quick Access Toolbar. Or right mouse click on Existing Sheet and select Insert. Let's use Exclusion to answer this question correctly. Exclusions is one of the methods where you exclude possible choices to come up with the right answer. Control T keyboard shortcut is used to create new tables, not new sheets. File New Sheet option doesn't exist in Excel menu. New icon in the Quick Access Toolbar create new workbook, not a new sheet. So through the method of exclusion, we came to choice D, which is the right mouse click on existing sheet and select Insert. To create new sheet in Excel, you right mouse click on the sheet 1, click Insert, and select Worksheet. And that added a new worksheet into Excel spreadsheet. So the right choice here is choice D, right mouse click on existing sheet and select Insert. Other choices are designed to trick you to believe that you might be the right answer, but they are not the valid option in Excel or incorrect for this particular question. If you would like to take a shortcut and get prepared faster, make sure to check out the description of the video and download available materials. Please make sure to check out my ebook, Top 50 Excel Interview and Assessment Test Questions. It not only provides you insider view of the testing process, but also gives you top questions and answers, keyboard shortcuts, allows you to learn the best ways to prepare for the test. You can also learn what to do when you arrive for the test, and it gives you tips and tricks and hacks to get ready. Links to available downloads are in the description of this video. Very frequently, during Excel assessment test, you might be presented with the question like this, which tests your knowledge of the Excel formatting shortcuts. By clicking the button in the image below, indicated by the green arrow, what will happen? And there are four choices that might be presented. Excel will hide or show formula bar, select all, select row ID and column ID, and hide or show the ribbon. Which one would you choose? If you click the area in the upper left corner of Microsoft Excel worksheet, it's an equivalent of select all function. So when we click on this, it selects the entire worksheet. So the correct answer in this case is select all. If worksheet contains data and the active cell is above or to the right of the data, pressing Control A selects the current region. And this button is an equivalent of Control A. I hope you got it right. Please make sure to check out my PDF ebook, Top 50 Excel Interview and Assessment Test Questions. It helped a lot of people to get hired. 
Also, consider subscribing to this channel. We have a lot of people helping each other, and here you will get answers to all your questions related to Microsoft Excel interview and assessment test. If you like the content, please share with other people who are looking for the job and will benefit from this. And give this video a big thumbs up. If you have a question about Excel assessment test, or would like to share with us what are the recent questions that you're getting during the test, please make sure to leave them in the comments. We have a community of dedicating people helping each other to pass the test. All the best on your Excel interview and assessment test.